guys, welcome back. We're ready. We'll get underway with um, Rob from Sky Sports News. Gareth, some really eye-catching names in your squad, some real headlines from our perspective. Um, perhaps most striking, James Madison, Mason Mount and Jaden Sancho, who all get their first call-ups. You've got two big games coming up against two teams ranked in the top ten of world football. How big a call is that for you to bring those guys in? Um, well, it is, but I think it um, aligns with what we've done over the last 18 months, really. Um, we, we've got a few injuries in midfield in particular, so um, Delhi, Jesse... Ruben um, has been missing, um, Fabian Delph. So there is an opportunity there. Then we have a decision on which way we want to um, use that opportunity. And we think there are some exciting young players that we've been tracking either through their clubs, also with our junior teams. Um, it's a great opportunity for us to look at them. We, we, we feel that um, we are always conscious of the balance of how quickly we put those young players in and raise expectation around them and make sure that we don't, um, uh, we don't uh, detrimentally affect their development. But um, we think they're performing well with their clubs. They're, they're confident players. Um, we'd like to work with them now. Get, get a, they get a, an understanding of how we work. We get a closer look at them. Quite a few of them have been tra have trained with us at various times here anyway. Um, so we're excited to, to see them. Um, Mount and Sancho are both playing outside of the Premier League. Are you having to mm. cast your net wider? Well, um, Jaden's is, a, is an unusual story uh, for, for a young English player. He's been brave enough to go abroad and play and has started two Champions League games for Dortmund. Um, has had a really big impact from the bench in there. Uh, league matches um, so that's been uh, a brave decision by him to go and uh, seek his opportunity uh, but playing at a big club in front of big support every week um, and um, with the psychological strength to, to deal with that and excel um, Mason is a slightly different situation he had a year at Vitesse last year so he's had another year of men's football um, this year in the championship has created more chances than any other player in the league. Um, he's, he's a player that trained with us before the World Cup. Um, and um, yeah, they're, they're both still formative stages, but we think they can have an impact with the group um, and we would have no hesitation in, in playing them in the games. Um, Ross Barkley hasn't played for England for almost two and a half years now. What's he mm. done to, to earn this call-up? Well, he's had a long period injured at Chelsea last year and so... Um, that, that wasn't a reflection on the, on the quality of the player that he hadn't been with us but he, he wasn't getting any football really this year he's started the season uh, in the team at Chelsea um, he's a player that we know has uh, good technical quality he's, he's grasping the tactical side of the game I was interested to read his interviews this morning on that so um, it's a good opportunity for him to come in as I say one or two of those opportunities might not have been there uh, if we'd had other players available. But as always, um, when you get opportunities within the squad, uh, people have come in and passed and done well and they stay in. And that, that's the way we work. Does that apply to Nat Chalabar as well? I mean, he's had, he's had less than five minutes of Premier League football um, mm. this season with, with Watford. And, you, and I think we all appreciate your ideal of wanting to pick players that are playing well and playing mm. regularly at the top level. Mm. Is that not possible when, you, when you've got the depth of, of players that you've got? I think we have to approach, approach it from a different angle now because we, we can't wait for a player to have two seasons in the Premier League. We can't wait for a player to uh, be playing every week for their team. I mean, Nathaniel is a player. He's got more youth caps than I think anybody, probably bar James Milner. Um, he, again, trained with us in the summer. He's had two 90 minutes or thereabouts for Watford in the League Cup. Um, and we know the qualities that he has. So again, a little bit early for him physically, but um, to come and train with us and work with us, um, we, we believe he's a player that can have an impact with us for the future. I need to ask you specifically about James Madison. We've talked about him as the whole. Can he be that magical number 10 that England have been looking for for so long? 
Um, I don't put James ahead of any of the other players that we've brought in, in that I think they're, that Mason, Jaden, they're all exciting, creative players. So um, I, I think that um, we, we talk a lot about <coughs> creativity, um, but I think we've got exciting players, have had exciting players in the squad up to this point. There are, there are a lot of players that are still in that squad that are uh, creatively exciting. And um, there are more young players coming underneath this group that have uh, similar attributes. So uh, if anything, in the last few games, we've given too many goals away, ironically. So we have to get the balance right of what we focus on as a coaching team. But um, definitely the, these youngsters have, have gone into their league programmes and gone into uh, junior football with us and had a big impact. Um, no Joe Hart in the squad. Um, you've chosen Jack Butland ahead of him. He's playing in the championship. Joe Hart's played every game for, for West Ham. Mm. I know you've tried to keep the door open for Joe Hart, but yeah. is this a sign now that his international career is over? No, not at all. Um, it's continuity from the squad we picked last month. Jack started our last game, so to suddenly uh, leave him out of the squad if, because he was playing in the championship wouldn't be appropriate, I think. Um, from Joe's perspective, I think we don't need to see Joe in a game at this stage to know what he can do. Um, I think it's great that he looks very settled. The move to Burnley has obviously worked for him. He looks confident in his game. Um, so it, we're looking at some other young goalkeepers that we need to know a bit more about. Um, Jordan obviously did superbly well for us in the summer. Um, but there's no way that uh, long-term Joe is ruled out. I just think at this moment in time it makes sense to look at the, the other three guys uh, underneath Jordan. Last one from me, no Daniel Sturridge, um, but people have been impressed with him. And you've named a squad of 25 players, so more than perhaps you, you often would, and there's still no Daniel Sturridge. Uh, was that a tough decision? Well, it's, again, good to see Daniel back playing. He missed all of the end of last season. Um, he's um, a goal scorer. We know, again, the qualities Daniel had. He hasn't had a lot of football back in, so... Um, Again, we wanted to look at some younger players in that area of the pitch at this moment in time. Um, but you know, we like Daniel in terms of personality and character to work with. He's, uh, he's, a, he's a player that I've, I've enjoyed when he's been in the squads, the, the conversations I've had with him and, and the way he plays. So, um, But I wanted to look at the likes of Sancho and Madison and people I know slightly, slightly different positionally, but... Uh, we also I talked last time about wanting to give Marcus Rashford playing time and we did that and I think he came out of that international spell with a, a lot more confidence as well. So uh, again, Daniel, good to see him playing and he's just got to keep doing what he's doing. Um, Gareth, as Rob mentioned, I mean, obviously these are pre two pretty heavyweight opponents in Croatia and Spain. Was there any part of you at all that, that would hesitate about using you know, Jaden and Mason particularly so, so young in their careers and what gives you the confidence that they've got the, the mental aptitude to survive against you know, two such big-name opponents? Uh, I think um, we, you never know with young players what they're capable of until they, you give them their opportunity. And we gave Joe Gomez a debut against Brazil and he was man of the match. Um, you know, we've done that right the way through the last few years. And um, I think these guys... It may be a little bit early for them, but equally, I think they're having a, a big impact in important matches. Um, Mason Mount stepped up, took a penalty at Old Trafford last week, you know, took it as if he'd been there all his life. Um, Jaden's had a similar impact for, for Dortmund in big matches. So um, I, I think very often we hold youngsters back a bit too much. I'm always trying to find that balance, and the messaging to them has got to be correct they're still early stages of their career with a lot of learning to do but I think it's good at this moment in time for their development to, to train with us and for us to see how they adapt to that as well okay any further questions that we call it we'll head on to the daily written briefing next thank you very much